Hello everybody. We're going to do an installation and use and adjustment video for the Scorpion and Scorpion lock. We're going to use a mock-up of a Polaris Razor Ranger cockpit with an actual factory brake pedal assembly. This will allow you to see exactly how easy installation is. First, you're going to open the packaging and locate the installation kit which will have your instructions and any parts and pieces you'll need to do the installation. Make sure you read those instructions. Then collect the tools you will need. It will definitely make insulation easier and faster. Locate the two factory studs between the brake pedal and throttle pedal. Remove both nuts. The studs are pressed into the firewall and will stay in place. I'm going to thread one of the supplied nuts onto that top stud. One or two turns is sufficient. Don't put it down all the way. You'll need to have it out for the proper insulation. Slide your Scorpion or Scorpion lock top slotted mounting hole under the nut on the top stud. Push up on your Scorpion lock and make sure the capture slides up and over the main brake support. If you're installing the Scorpion, just push up on the Scorpion, as the Scorpion does not have a capture, so you do not have to worry about this step. Lower the Scorpion or Scorpion lock bottom mounting hole onto the bottom stud. Then pull the bottom out. This will give you enough room to install the second supplied nut onto the bottom stud. Okay, using your ratchet 6 inch extension and the 13 millimeter socket, go ahead and tighten that top nut. Make sure you leave yourself enough room that you can remove that socket. With your 13 millimeter open end, reach up and under and tighten the bottom nut. Be careful not to over tighten either one of these two nuts. Congratulations, your Scorpion or Scorpion lock are now installed and ready for use.